So hey everybody out there on YouTube, this is the Grim Reefer. And this is I'm this time around I'm gonna answer the questions that were asked the previous times and try to get you guys some answers. And I, I should have got them to y'all already. We have uh, problems out of my laptop and a bunch of other stuff, so y'all I appreciate y'all patience for bearing with me and still riding with me and checking up on me. So we're gonna get to down to business. The first question comes from the Big Mac 08. Shout out to Mac Mirage, happy birthday, my nigga. And his question was, what was going through your mind as you was making death wish? Um, and by death wish, I Supposedly mean like Death Wish 2, the 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 uh, video that was banned from YouTube. Um, I'm not really sure if he's talking about the song or the video, so I'm gonna speak a little bit on both, and you know, hopefully I, I answer this question somewhere in there. But the song, like actually, I made a beat, like. Uh, I woke up out of my sleep at like four in the morning one morning and worked on a beat kind of like painstakingly and I dug deep down when I was writing that song. Songs like that that sometimes are in an artist that they have to get out so they can press on and move forward because they're they they're possibly holding in some uh, emotions or some feelings that they've been holding on to for quite a while they just haven't found a way to express them or move past them and Death Wish 2 was me moving past a lot of bullshit like you know not having a father really in my life um, you know just dealing with not really being <coughs> Um, I guess this popular guy or something like that, which I'm not f I'm fucked up about popularity or nothing like that. I'm not caught into the hype like that, but I'm not trying to be ignored or looked over or looked down on either. I feel like what I'm here doing is just supporting anybody else. But, you know, moving on. Um,. Crazy Weed Smoker 1 writes, Man, do you think you can post another video of Death Wish 2? Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Crazy Weed Smoker 1 because actually, he actually posted a, another video of Death Wish 2, which I appreciate because I don't know when, when they took down the original video off YouTube, it kind of, you know, it, it, it kind of brought me down a little bit because the majority of the footage from the video was taken from YouTube. I guess the reason why I haven't put another one up because I wouldn't know how to put another one up when uh, the original was how I envision the video to be in the first place. So um, I don't know. It's that's kind of a tough one. If I was to make another video, how would I be able to top the original? So um, till I can figure that out, I probably won't make another actual video to Death Wish Two. I might. Like maybe put a picture video up or something like that, maybe sometime down the line, but as an actual music video, uh, maybe in the near future, but that's not my focus right now. I'm trying to move forward to, um, you know, getting everyone ready for the sum of all fears coming out later on this year. The next question. Is Miss Joyce two 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 as what makes you so versatile? <laughs> okay, um, 
I guess what makes me so versatile my versatility comes from me already seeing in my head what I want the world to see or what I'm trying to show people and trying to go out of my way to um, trade or depict the message and get it out there like I'm trying to get it out there. The responsibility of the artist to make the audience understand what where the artist is coming from, not vice versa. A lot of times when, when I'm showing my versatility off, it, it's, uh, it's not that I'm trying to do it on purpose, it's just because I have a particular vision and I can't explain a vision to probably anyone else. So I'm someone, you might be working with someone who has a totally opposite vision and that's going to make it hard for you to see eye to eye if you, you don't work with this person or, or know this person or y'all don't see eye to eye anyway, y'all don't do the same thing. So, um, it kind of got off topic, but at the same time, it, it's still part of what, what where my versatility comes from, you know, just not having any other person to go to to get my vision across so it's left up to me so I have to be the versatile one and, and paint the pictures I see in my head and T31 Gun 1 I believe I'm not really sure how to say that but the question was do you believe that there's a government cover up, cover up or conspiracy concerning 2012 destruction of the earth either by their own hands or the act of nature. <sighs> um, the government always has something going on, always has, always will. So, I mean, government always covering up something so by knowing that the government is covering up something you know they're always up to something either what you see or what you don't see even what you don't see when you don't see them working you know definitely they're up to something so it, it's like you know it, it's tough because you know there's a lot going on in the world with like the birds, the fish, the cows, no one's really paying attention to any of that. You know, people, instead of paying attention to that, people is, is concerned with Gucci's tattoo on his face. Niggas getting tattoos on their face and bullshit. People won't concern with, you know, who's going to win the Grammys. All I can say is we need to be watchful, we need to be mindful. You need to pay attention and see what's really going on out here because a lot of things that we're holding valuable, hold dear, think it's important and it's really not worth shit. Sad because uh, a lot of people uh, don't realize the, the impact of it. In the first quarter this year, we had the birds, the fish, the cows. Um, a government official murdered and attempted assassination on on a congresswoman, and we had a little girl murdered in the Tucson, Arizona. All this ties in. So, I mean, you know. I hate this. I don't want to be the bugle boy or the whistleblower or whatever, you know, because I mean, I feel, I already feel censored anyway because of the way things went down with Death Wish 2. So, when I get asked a question like this, initially I want to tell the truth, but. At the same time, the truth might be 
more than what people can handle. So, um, that's, that's just tough. Um, I hope um, I answered most of y'all questions to the best of my ability, and uh, hope we hopefully we can do this again and have uh, another Ask the Grim Reefer segment. Um, keep the questions coming. I'm going to try my best to have them answered as quickly as possible to the best of my ability. And hopefully we try to keep this thing interesting. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Grim Reefer. Look out for the summer office coming later on this year. Peace.